Only on two, it's been four years since the deadly mass shooting at the Henry Pratt Company in Aurora, after which it was revealed that the gunman's firearm owner's identification card had been revoked, but he still had a gun. Since October, Aurora police have been participating in a special program aimed at making sure that never happens again. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey got a behind-the-scenes look. In many cases, it's as simple as a door knock, but it's helping get guns out of the hands of residents who shouldn't have them. Aurora Police Department. Aurora Police call them knock and talks. State police give them a list of residents who've had their FOID cards revoked or suspended, but haven't gone through the process of turning over their cards and guns. Yeah. Sounds pretty simple, but here in Aurora, a gun in the hands of a disgruntled manufacturing company employee resulted in the mass shooting of five fellow employees in 2019. Five Aurora police officers were also injured. The shooter had his FOID card revoked five years prior, but still had his gun. At the time, Aurora police didn't have the money to devote to those types of compliance checks. But thanks to a grant from the state, Sergeant Thomas McGuire tells me now they do. That money allows us to put in uh, extra time outside of our regular duties to go out and conduct these uh, knock and talks. We tagged along on several compliance checks today. Just mental health stuff. And while there were no dramatic surrender scenes or arsenals of illegal weapons confiscated. Rural Police Department. A slow day is a good day for this team. It's not a good number. They say they're just glad to be doing their part to make sure this doesn't happen again. If we don't have to go through another Henry Pratt or business shooting due to something like that, um, I think that's a benefit to everybody. Illinois State Police are now accepting applications from police departments for 2024. Coming up at 6, we'll take a look at just how many successful checks Aurora Police have done so far. In Aurora, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.